To operate the cold planer from the joystick, one of the very first things you will do is on the window pillar, review what attachment is selected in the A, B, or C mode. You will see that the cold planer is in the B mode. By going to the middle bank, left switch, you will see A, B, C joystick mode, selecting B. If you noticed that the yellow and the green lights on the joystick activated when it was switched to B mode. In the B mode, there'll be a movement with your joystick forward and backwards. That will extend the upper link or upper cylinder in and out. Yellow circuit will be a left to right motion. On the dash, or you will see a switch for tilt or planar tilt and depth. When selecting the tilt position, moving the joystick to the left or to the right will rotate the head left or right. Moving the switch to the center section and moving the joystick to the right or left will cross shift the head from the outer right of the frame back to approximately the center of the tractor. By switching the switch to the depth section of the switch, by moving the joystick to the right, you will now lower the head into the asphalt or concrete, depending on what material you're grinding. Moving it to the left will raise the head or bring the grinding head out of the material you are attempting to grind. Pull the lever back to engage the deep reduction transmission. To turn the grinder head on, you will activate the PTO circuit to engage the PTO. Then you will turn the right hydraulic power on, then the left hydraulic power. Grinder is now rotating. So for this motion, this is the green circuit with a forward backwards motion. This is the yellow circuit on planar tilt, which was right or left and right. This here is the cross shift uh, section of the yellow circuit, which is a right motion. This is the depth section of the yellow circuit. And you will see the rods moving up and down. The white button, which is the main lift, will be a mainframe complete lift up and down.